The book The Secret came out in November of 2006, and interest at that time in the law of attraction boomed across the globe. The book promised that you can use the power of positive thinking alone to bring anything into your life that you desire, and people loved this idea and certainly ran the gauntlet with it. But the book's teachings missed something very important. In this video, you'll learn the link in the incomplete law of attraction, why visualization and positive thinking work for some people, but not others, and how you can use this missing link to finally be a more accurate manifester. If you don't know who I am, my name is Zach from ZachHater.com. I'm an emotional healing coach and I bridge the gap between personal development and spirituality. So let's go. So the missing link to the law of attraction, well, it's not just action and effort, even though 99% of the time that is crucial. It's not your environment and your external factors, even though that's like very important. It's not even just limiting beliefs. It's repulsion. Just like in physics, we have the idea of magnetic attraction and magnetic repulsion as above, so below. Why would this concept, this universal law not apply when it comes to attracting things into our life? So today I want to talk a bit more and present this idea of the complete concept of the law of attraction and repulsion. So what do I mean by that? Well, chances are, if you're watching this video, you're already well versed in the law of attraction. It's all about us wanting to attract things into our life through the power of positive thought. It teaches us to think positively, to make our energy frequency a closer match to the things that we desire so that they can come to us more naturally. And it teaches us to practice gratitude as frequently as we can as well. But the one thing that the law of attraction in the mainstream generally has not taught us is that there are things unconsciously weighing us down that will block our manifestations from ever coming about. You could say that some people have it really easy when it comes to using the law of attraction and they may not seem to have anything weighing them down. A good example of this would be Jim Carrey. We read about this or hear this that you used to go up on Mulholland Drive and park yeah, every night and visualize seeing yourself as yeah I would visualize uh, yeah I would this visualize, is when you were broke and poor you know, right having mm -hmm. directors interested in me and people that I respected uh, um, saying you know I like your work or mm -hmm. whatever that is and and uh, I would visualize things coming to me that I w wanted or whatever. This and, was in uh, like 1987, 85. Yeah. 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 And, didn't and I you... had nothing at that time. So it was like, it, but it just made me feel better. It made me at that time, all it really was for me was kind of making me feel better. I would drive home and think, well, I do have these things and they're out there. I just don't have a hold of them yet, but they're out there. Okay. So you would get this from what? Self-help books or whatever? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Self-help section. Self-help section. They renamed it the Jim Carrey <laughs> wing. <laughs> So didn't you write yourself a check? I heard yeah. that you did, is that true? I wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered, and I gave myself uh, five years, or three years maybe, and, uh, and uh, I dated it Thanksgiving 1995, and I put it in my wallet and I kept it there and it deteriorated and deteriorated and stuff, and, uh, and uh, but then just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was gonna make $10 million on, I think it was Dumb and Dumber, maybe. Dumb and Dumber, yeah. Yeah. So you visualize yourself like... Yeah, yeah. Visualization works if you work hard. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's that the thing. You, you can't hard. just visualize yeah. and then, you know, go eat a sandwich. <laughs> Kerry had such a strong conviction in himself, so much so that nothing was going to weigh him down. Like, his vision and his why was so powerful, but not all of us have such a burning why or a burning conviction. Well, sometimes we do, but like we just still can't seem to get anything off the ground, whether it's finding and maintaining a loving relationship, whether it's uh, walking our purpose and finding fulfillment and appropriate compensation in our work, whether it's taking our state of health to new heights. Perhaps you have tried using the law of attraction to improve your life and nothing has seemed to have come of it. Or maybe you're looking at people like Jim Carrey who seem to boss it, but you just can't. Well, let me give you an example from my own personal story. When I was especially young and growing up, my dad took a lot of speed. Often he would stay up all night in the garage using, 
and the next day he'd be very irritable and short-tempered like he would often be uh, shouting and bossing me and my sister around the house to like clean up and do all of the the housework basically while my mum was at work and as I was especially young this really affected me a lot like I often the the shouting I remember at one point getting to a point where I kind of like dissociated I kind of like almost switched off as best I could to kind of like let the anger kind of flow over me rather than absorb it and yeah on the whole this took a massive hit on my self-love capacity I remember getting to this it was just like this this sense of inner rejection came about because because of that lack of love and that emotional abuse it was almost like being shouted at most days like that harshly would make anyone feel worthless right especially when it's done for that long. So it left a significant mark on my nervous system and you could call that a form of trauma. At the time, of course, I never had the tools to deal with what I was going through. Yeah, so all I could really do was stuff those feelings down. Later in life, still holding on to this trauma and not even realizing it, I was carrying, still carrying around this weight of self-rejection, which very much manifested in the form of perfectionism it was like everything I did have had to be flawless. Uh, just like tidying up my house had to be when I was much younger. Because if I didn't, there would be consequences. And so then leaving uni in my early 20s, I came to this block again. And I kind of went about my life uh, wondering a bit. I was experimenting with different things. I went traveling. And then eventually the time came where I wanted to really start building a business and even grow a YouTube channel. But while I had the dream, I had no follow through. Every idea I had was being filtered through this lens of everything needing to be perfect and excellent. Otherwise, what was the point? Like there would be harsh consequences otherwise. So in many ways, this was a big example in my own personal journey of trauma, childhood trauma manifesting later in my life and repelling away what I did not want what I did want to attract. Yeah, and uh, I went on and over the, over the years I've been, I've realized I've been chasing money, chasing the illusion of money, thinking that that would bring me liberation, but it never really did. There have been some things that have stuck and have worked for sure, but overall, I'm still not quite fulfilled in myself. There's something missing, which is why I'm here creating this video today after doing a lot of inner work. So speaking of inner work, how do we actually use this missing link of, of repulsion to finally get what we want? How do we deal with the things that are holding, holding us back? The bottom line from my own experience has been bring as much love and compassion into yourself as you possibly can. Those emotional states from childhood, they're still dormant in your body. If you haven't given them the light of day, they're still going to be causing havoc with you in your life and your manifestations and the things that you want to move towards. And then gradually over time, in my own process of doing this inner work, I've been able to focus more on making progress instead of focusing on perfection. And that has been a big breakthrough for me. And like I said, this is even why you're seeing this video today. So if you're looking for help with removing what's blocking your manifestations at this time, then I invite you to get my course of guided MP3s, which contains sequences of compassion phrases designed to unblock a variety of different emotional states within you. You can check them out in the link in this description. And if you enjoyed watching this video, then I would suggest you watch this one here that's showing up on the screen now. Also, if you like this video, please like it. It encourages the YouTube algorithm to help me out. And in return, I will continue to make good content for you. So until next time, happy unblocking and happy manifesting.